Mr. President and distinguished person who are always behind me, delegates, advisors, my friends from a strong team of India, ladies and gentlemen. It is an immense pleasure for me to speak before you in this plenary session. I have carried a special gift for all of you, that is good usage from 1.25 billion people of India, the land of Mahatma Gandhi. Sir, we compliment Director General for his powerful opening remark and the report, uh, the work of uh, Women Work of Initiative and Push for Equality which has really prescribed the locus standi of our social dialogue and tripartism. Sir, India is a, on a fast moving trajectory of economic development. The present DGP is $2.5 trillion, which is expected to grow to $6 trillion by 2030. Only the last quarter showed 7.7 percent growth rate, which is fasted, fastest economy in the world today. The initiative and the agenda for the, for the government and the people of India are in line with the ILO, and that is decent word of work, green initiative, security, safety, and health for the working staff, migration of labor, environment protection, healthy climate, gender-related equality, skill development, and development of micro and medium industries. Sir, the emerging global market of economy are bound to lift the global economy as such. Sir, the employment growth has been the core agenda of ILO and so of India. You will be surprised to know that global unemployment crossed 200 million in 2017 and is expected to grow to 212 million by 2019. 61 million people employment has been lost by the year 2008, which was economic meltdown. ILO report shows that though global unemployment has been stabilizing, still there is a big gap between unemployment and deficit of clean work, deficit work, all over the world presently. Sir, India's decent work country program 2018-22 has focused better on quality job and social protection, transition or to formal uh, employment, and all that. Indian employers are committed to meet this objective. Sir, green job in different sector requires different skill set to create employment of workers. India can do much better and so development countries make much, make much better if the policy of protectionism is reviewed. There is a need for migration of labor from one country to other, particularly from developing country to developed country. You allow labor force to move like a migratory bird, and I can assure, give them place to stand, they will turn your economy. <laughs> Sir, skill development and skill and knowledge are the drivers of economy in all nations. Indian National Policy of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship 2015 targets 400 million by 2022. A skill vocational training has been introduced in more than 2,400 schools, improving about a lot of 2.5 lakhs students all over India now. Promotion of a small and micro industry is on priority and the employers are committed to it. Gender equality has been the core issue of integral part of right, uh, human rights. There is a need to be more cautious on sexual harassment. It affects the world of work, the productivity as such. 
India has passed legislation and has declared it as a criminal offence. Sir, India is together with ILO in combating all this menace which we are facing, and we assure you that we are embedded to development. Thank you very much for listening. We wish the Central Minister Liberation all success. Thank you. Long live ILO. Long live India. The Thank you, Mr. Chube. Could I